We are in the 207 Kitchen at O Main Studios with Chef Bo Byrne. You've taken a little break from the top dog, hot dog truck and cart that you normally run all summer. Today we've got something really unusual going together, starting with Greek yogurt. We've got cauliflower. Tell me yes, what's on the menu. This is, a, this is an Israeli dish that I might uh, show off in my international cuisine class at SMCC. There you go. This is going to be uh, Israeli fried cauliflower with homemade lebna cheese. Okay. So if you've never made that before, I'm going to show you how real quick. So we're going to start out with some Greek yogurt, and that's going to go here into some cheesecloth. Okay. And the whole point of this cheese is that we're going to try to extract all of the liquid out of it. And so what we're going to do is just tie this like so. All right. Do you want me to bring this over and maybe you can yeah. put it in and then we'll take it Yeah, take it back. show you what we did. So yeah, cheesecloth here, tie this around. And then you might just want to do something like put a, put a spoon or something right through, right, right. through the middle like this. And that's going to go here. And this is going to go in like so. And you're going to want this to be able to have enough room so it can drip out and okay. let that liquid come out. And that's going to drain for quite a while. Yes. So I've got one here that I drained for 36 hours. And you can see how much liquid came out of that. And the that. consistency is completely different. And now. now, yeah, now unlike yogurt, this looks more like really soft cheese, yeah, which right. is exactly what we're looking to do with it. All right. So What's for next? this lebna, we're going to do a little bit of honey mm -hmm. and a little splash of some white balsamic vinegar, okay. which is going to add a little bit of vinegar punch. And I have also some fresh mint here. So I like to do a little bit of that. Thank you so much. You're a little welcome. bit of that mint in that cheese. You see how easily that yes. spreads? It doesn't really look anything like the consistency of Greek yogurt, so the draining it really changes. Absolutely, it. but yeah. it but it retains all that tanginess right. that you that you love about the Greek yogurt to begin with. Now we're going to be doing some cauliflower. How about if I start putting a few in the oil? Absolutely. How's that sound? That sounds and then good. We've got some already fried up as we've well. We've got a few that gonna... we just took out of the oil. So again, I have this oil here at about 350 degrees. That's perfect, right. perfect temperature for this. And, and this is a, a, which we've been using before, the candy thermometer. This is a candy, so yeah, a candy thermometer style, and that'll let us know, uh, regulate how, how hot that oil is. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'll take that plate, plate down there. Yes, there we go. And we will do a little bit of this Lebna cheese right down the middle. That has some of that white balsamic, some of that honey, and some of that mint. You do love to mix flavors. There's a little sweet, there's a little tart in there. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and that's really the way to have the best bites. Oh, that looks and delicious. And look how, look how great this looks. Now, this cauliflower here doesn't have any coating. It doesn't have any breading at all. It doesn't have any dredge. It wasn't marinated in anything. Just the cauliflower. It's and just that's what we have cauliflower. cooking. How long before you brought those out? How they were in for about five minutes or so? For about for about four four to five minutes, okay. absolutely max. Okay. And then you'll be faced with something like this. All right. Um, with these, I, I would take this the rest of the way. Some of that some of that delicious apple mint that I have. Mm. Maybe some of this flat Italian parsley. Now, would you do this with any other vegetables, or is it really it works. It works. It works, it works well. great with this. I mean, you could do this with a, with a few other things. I mean, something as simple as as potato would work, you know, very well with this. Right, right. Um, when you're doing cauliflower in particular, I will say that if you have uh, the purple cauliflower or the yellow cauliflower, mm. oh, those those are best be. for pickling um, and not so much for cooking like this. If you cook them, they'll all end oh, up kind of okay. coming out looking the same. If you were if you were trying to separate them. Now one last thing, we're letting these cook a little more, and you were talking about adding some crunch with some fried shallots. Right. So but that's tricky. Absolutely. So <laughs> yeah, the, the lemon cheese is soft. The cauliflower, although fried, won't be crunchy. So if you want to add a crunchy element, I recommend shallots to this. However, you do not take shallots and throw them into hot oil. It'll be a big disaster. So the way to fry shallots is you have a pan, just have room temperature oil to start. Add your sliced shallots and then turn it on. And let it all heat up and together. And it gently comes up. And as they start to fry, they'll float really easily. And you skim them off the top. And they're and, nice. And they add a nice little element of crunch. Oh, my gosh. Good to yeah. know. Thank you so much. You're we so will, welcome. Of course, a lot of elements to this. We'll have the recipe in the 207 section of our website and app, as always. And Chef Bo Byrne putting on the final touches. There we are. Thank you so much. Here we have it. It's beautiful. We Thank will you. be right back.